Okay, hey, what's going on? Becker again. In this video, I wanna show you where these losses usually crop up in call funnels. I know a lot about call funnels, so I'm gonna show you where they all pop up at. So let me show you where the savings can be found in your house account for your call funnels. Okay, so let's talk about something that's near and dear to my heart. This is for call funnels and long click to sale funnels. So if you have a webinar funnel, person clicks, it takes them a couple days. You're not going to track that. You're not going to track any of the sales in a call funnel. And you're going to track like half the sales for like a webinar, or a long click to sale funnel, uh, and ad manager. It's just not going to work first and foremost. So just seeing where your sales are coming from is going to make your business night and day better. That being said, let's talk about the ways people lose money hand over foot in these types of funnels. It's, it's extremely simple. Okay. So if I go look at my Google ads right here, here's the number one place people lose money at. They look at cost per call versus revenue in. That's where you die at. It's every single time. I constantly see people go and start optimizing for cost per call. And so what you're going to see happen so many times is people go and they'll optimize for cost per call and they'll scale up ads that have a good cost per call or good opt-in. You need to factor in revenue. You need to factor in revenue. The easiest way to save yourself so much money is to just turn off the ads that are losing you money but have been scaled up due to a good CPL, cost per lead, or cost per call. That's it. The places where I see these types of funnels get ripped up is two places. One, investing in things based on other stats than revenue. If you just optimize around revenue, you could see so many different trends. You could see that your CPL, uh, for example, right here, the cost per call is much, much higher than right here, but it's way more profitable. You could see the ads that give you a higher CPL or cost per lead uh, let's say you're, you, you're paying $10 per lead instead of $3 per lead are actually making you more money. Easiest way to scale to the moon right there, but also the easiest way to save money is turn off the ones that have the great CPLs and the great cost per calls that aren't making you money. If I turn off this ad right here, for example, uh, I believe this is a, this is a seven day period right here. So I'm spending about like a hundred dollars a day right here. That's a thousand dollars a month just saved right there. And we're not spending a ton on this, maybe 30,000 a month. So I just, I just dropped ad spend 3%. I do that five more times, my ad spend just dropped 15% overall across the entire account. Awesome. Easiest money ever saved ever. You compound that over a year, that's that's a lot of money. $30,000, $50,000 saved. Okay. High risk costs a lot less than that. Now, the other place where I see people getting rocked is, again, guessing on these types of funnels. So, for example, uh, they're, they, they're not going to see other calls coming in. They're not going to see all their sales coming in. And so what they're going to do is they're going to look at ad campaigns that used to get sales or used to have a good CP cost per call or sometimes get sales. And they're just going to keep those ones on. I'm telling you straight up, that's not how you want to do things. You want to look at these trends over 30 days, especially on long click to sale funnels. Okay. You want to go into your account, look at them over 14 day periods. Then what you want to do is you want to look at last click or use scientific mode. Scientific mode is going to assign the sale to the last click of its past period of time. So let's say we're looking at a 14 day period. If the sale happens after 14 days, it's gonna assign it to the last click. If the sale is happening, uh, happens before the first 14 days is done, it's gonna assign it to the first click. This is very, very useful. And so I suggest you look at last click and scientific before making calls like this. And we'll get more into scientific and different attribution models later on in this course. That said, you're gonna see 90% of the effect you can get with just last click mode. So don't focus on overcomplicating the wheel quite yet. But what a lot of people do is they see past sales performance, so they see past performance from an ad, and so they don't turn off the ad because they can't see all the sales and they can't see the performance currently. And so what they then do is they guess. Guessing is the easiest way, it, it can sometimes work, but it's the easiest way to be inefficient, at least 10 to 15, 20% inefficient in your ad account. You stop guessing, you look over 30 day periods and you just look straight at revenue. That's the mo most important thing in this video. Look straight at revenue. Just don't look at anything else. Use the revenue tracking, which you could not get before, which forced you to have to get into these really bad behaviors. Use that and then turn off ads that are losing you money. Turn off ads that are breaking money. Turn off ads based on their current performance based on revenue. Okay. Now there's some other cool ninja stuff we're going to get into using LTV and the overall value of calls over time, seeing which audiences give you the best P 
people over a period of time. For example, we might see that this ad set right here gives people that spend 300 to 400% more over six months in this ad set. That's that's game breaking for my business. And we'll get into that later in the course. But if you're looking at a call funnel, I'm gonna tell you right now, along click to sale or call funnel, 90% of where people die is one operating off of their cost per lead and cost per call instead of actual revenue and guessing. Easiest way not to do this, operate off revenue. Of course, look at your cost per call. Of course, look at your cost per lead. Factor in revenue. Start operating around that. I see people all the time who have put in tens of thousands of dollars into an ad set that had a great cost per call, but didn't make them any revenue. The result, they lost a ton of money. If they didn't lose that money, that's the whole point of this video. So don't lose money. Focus on the revenue. And I also highly suggest, don't oversimplify this. Don't oversimplify just this video. Go check the later videos in the course where I get into advanced stuff, how to look at the LTV of your calls, the LTV of your customers. Because a lot of times in a call funnel, you'll see people come back three, four months later after an initial call and buy. You'll see it all the time. Same thing with webinar funnels and long click to sale funnels. We'll talk about that later on in this course.